Now this is another major sign. There will be swallowings of earths, swallowings. And the Prophet ﷺ tells us in the hadiths, after me, after the Prophet's death, there will be a swallowing of earth in somewhere in the eastern region, eastern to Medina. وَخَصْفٌ بِالْمَغْرِبِ And in the west of Medina, somewhere there. وَخَصْفٌ فِي جَزِيرَةِ الْعَرَبِ And there will be also a swallowing of the earth in the lands of the Arab, the Arab Peninsula. One companion said, Ya Rasulullah, the earth will swallow the people, even if among them there are righteous people. He said, yes, if its people start to do too much immorality and indecency and all of those things. And we, we, we have that today. You can see a lot in the eastern regions, you can see a lot in the west. People no longer believe in God and so on and so forth. Then there will be smoke. Smoke will come and it will fill the whole sky. This is another major sign. Allah said in the Quran, فَرْتَقِبْ يَوْمَ تَأْتِي السَّمَاءُ بِدُخَانٍ مُّبِينٍ يَغْشَ النَّاسَ هَذَا عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Which means wait until the day comes when the sky will be filled of clear smoke. Everybody in the world will see it. هَذَا عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ This will be a day of torment. Has it happened? Allah A'lam. Will it still happen? Allah only knows. But the majority of the scholars say it is yet to happen. And this is also one of the signs of the closeness of the last hour. Also among the major signs before the end of the world would be, as we said last week, the rising of the sun from where it sets. The world, the universe is moving in a very peculiar way now. And some scientists, as I said last time, say that it will reach a plateau phase. It will just stop. And they say either a universe is going to be recreated or there will be something called the big crunch. So the planets will collide. And when this happens, everything's reversed. That day, no more repentance will be accepted by anybody, as we said. And finally, there will be something called Adab, the beast. It is mentioned in the Quran, this beast. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that it's called Dabbatul Ard, the beast that walks the earth. And it's called the beast because it doesn't have a particular human form, nor is it known to be of any an animal form that we know of. Allah SWT tells us that to nas, it will speak to the people with speech that you can understand. The authentic hadith is that it will come out of the earth in three days. It will be huge like a mountain and it will be carrying with it the stick of Sulaiman and it will wipe the people in two different colors. One is a dark color and one is a light color. Towards the end, a person will be able to tell who the disbeliever is from the believer just by looking at them. So finally, the Qur'an itself will be lifted. The Prophet ﷺ said also, Medina will remain inhabited during the days of the Dajjal and during the time of Isa ﷺ, son of Mary, until he dies and is buried there. Yani Isa ﷺ will be buried in Medina. Then it will be destroyed. Umar ibn al-Khattab said, I heard the Prophet ﷺ say, a rider, will go around Medina and say, there used to be many Muslims here. At the end of time, towards that era, the Prophet ﷺ tells us about a very strange man who will rule the earth, an Abyssinian king. His name, as the Prophet ﷺ describes him, Dhus Suwaiqatayn means the man of the peculiar looking shins. They're thin and they're short. He will come from Abyssinia and he will destroy the Kaaba. The Kaaba is the ancient building which was built by Ibrahim alayhi salam and whose foundations were laid by Adam. This is the hadith of the Prophet Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhum said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Dhus Suwaiqatayn from Abyssinia will destroy the Kaaba and steal its treasures and Kiswa, the cloth covering. Al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, it is as if I could see him now. And then he describes him. He says, he is bold headed and has a distortion in his wrists. They are a little bit deformed. He will strike the Kaaba with his spade and pickaxe. When that happens, my dear brothers and sisters, and the Kaaba is destroyed, and only the disbelievers and the tyrants and the criminals will stay on earth. The Kaaba is destroyed. The symbols of Islam are destroyed. The Quran has been lifted. There is no more Islamic knowledge. Finally, the last piece of sign will happen. And the final sign before the day of, of, of destruction is the fire. And now, Rasul tells us, find this hadith in Sahih Muslim, a fire will come out. From where exactly we don't know, but it comes from towards the northern part of the, of the world. And it will spread 
through the world. In Arabic, when you say nar, there are many forms of fire. It could be acid, could be something from the earth, volcanic eruptions. Only Allah knows exactly. The point is it burns. And the people of the world will run away from that fire because it will take over their homes and lands. It's no longer livable. You can't live there anymore. Is it a meteorite that will hit the earth? Allahu A'lam. Only Allah knows exactly. Rasul said, it will gather the people to their gathering. Mahsharihim. Some scholars say this means that it will gather them to the place where they will be resurrected on a day of judgment. That's the place on earth. Some other scholars say, no, it will gather them together in a place, in one place. And that's where the world will end and they'll all die there.